I've been working on a way to rig my camera to set on top of my scope or my rifle uh, to record some of these beaver hunts that I've been doing and uh, found a pretty good attachment here. I'll show you guys what that is and where to order it from. I'll put a link directly to that down below. Uh, just buy it off of Amazon there. It seems pretty sturdy just holding it and uh, trying to wiggle it around. So it has this big clamp here which you loosen and tighten with this bar right here. And then this is all a hinge joint here and here. And then you just loosen it with this wing nut. And then this can move forward, left, and right. And then this bottom part can do the same. It's all just a big swivel joint, both of these sides. Uh, looks kind of crazy. It's not real big and bulky though, like I thought it might be. But with the weapon mounted light on there and uh, the camera on top, it it is getting a little crazy looking, but we'll take it outside, uh, fire five shots through it, and just see how it does in this little bolt action uh, suppressed 22. I just like uh, hunting at night and might be able to try to incorporate this on some of my coyote hunts. We'll see how it does though. I don't know how well it's going to handle some bigger recoil. All right, so came out here to the range in my backyard. So I've got this suppressed 22 here. Just going to shoot a few shots and see how the stability is. Uh, aim for that smaller one on the left now. Let's see how it does with a little bit of zoom. Not bad. All right, I'm gonna go inside and take a look at the footage and see how it did. All right, so just got back inside. That footage seemed like it's gonna be pretty solid. Nice thing about this suppressed 22 is there's just not much recoil, so not a whole lot of vibration in the video. Camera was moving around a little bit whenever I was racking in the next round, but that's no big deal. You know, shooting off of a rest or some shooting sticks, this thing's gonna be pretty solid. Uh, doesn't move around a whole lot, and uh, for 10 or 12 bucks, I think it's a pretty good purchase. So uh, comment down below with any questions that you guys might have. Make sure and subscribe, like this video. Stay tuned for more. We'll see you guys. Happy hunting, be safe, bye.